in this aerobic respiratory pathway we have to tell what is this 4, 8 and 12 with respect to the net reactant or products. Now pathway A is glycolysis, pathway B this represent Krebs cycle and this is electron transport system. Now in the glycolysis first is representing either NAD plus entering the glycolysis or ATP which is used here for the activation of glucose. Now you can see this fourth one this is representing ATP formed through the substrate level phosphorylation. Now this third product which is formed in the glycolysis this is NADH. NADH it enters the respiratory pathway in the ETS it will enter the ETS and after the oxidation results in the formation of the water molecule. Now, now after the glycolysis link reaction will occur then this Krebs cycle will occur. In the Krebs cycle there is utilization of NAD plus, FAD plus or there is utilization of coenzyme A. So this fifth reactant which is entering the Krebs cycle it can be coenzyme A, FAD plus, NAD plus. This results in the formation of NADH, FADH which will again enter the electron transport system for the oxidation, right? So 6, 7 they are representing NADH or FADH entering the electron transport system. Now this 8th product which is formed here that is again ATP which is formed through the substrate level phosphorylation. Now in the ETS you know there is oxidation of NADH or FADH resulting in the formation of ATP and this ATP which is formed that is known as oxidative phosphorylation. So this 12th one is ATP formed through the oxidative phosphorylation. Now the reactants which are entering here they can be the protons which are picked up from the matrix. So you know this very well for the formation of the ATP through the oxidative phosphorylation there is requirement of proton gradient and the protons they are picked up from the matrix. And after that there is formation of metabolic water this 11 is representing water. So we can see here once again this is. NAD plus or ATP, this one ATP through substrate level phosphorylation, then from the glycolysis then link reaction occur, then Krebs cycle. Now the reactants which are entering here they can be NAD plus, FAD plus or coenzyme A, then again this is ATP formed through the substrate level phosphorylation. So 6, 7 they are representing NAD plus. H, FADH which is entering the electron transport system from the matrix hydrogen ions they are picked up then this one is ATP formed through the oxidative phosphorylation and this last is metabolic water formation. So it means 4, 8, 12 they are the ATP formation through substrate level or oxidative phosphorylation. It means for this question the right option number is 1. So this is all about the question. Now we will be discussing the next question here. Now the question number 133. Artificial insemination means so we know artificial insemination is transferring the semen that could be collected from the male partner or the donor into the vagina of the female. So that option here is the second one artificial introduction of sperms of a healthy donor into the vagina. Answer is 2. The next question 134. One of the representatives of phylum Arthropoda is now out of these four silverfish, pufferfish, flying fish and cuttlefish the insect is silverfish and that is a arthropod it's a insect without wings. Pufferfish and flying fish are true fish while cuttlefish is a mollusk. So our answer is 1. 
and then we'll take up the last question that is 135. Now the last question of the biology section, question number 135. This figure shows the human urinary system in which four parts are labeled A to D and we have to identify the correct labeling along with the function or the characteristic of it. Now in this the options are the B pelvis, this region, pelvis region, broad funnel shaped space inner to the hilum but it is not directly connected to loops of Henle. The second option C medulla. So inner part C medulla, inner zone of the kidney and contains complete nephrons that becomes wrong because it is containing only part of nephron. D cortex, the region is correctly labeled outer part of the kidney but the second part of the statement is incorrect that is they do not contain any part of nephron, they do contain the convoluted tubule and the Bowman's capsule part of the nephron. The last option a adrenal gland here we can see this adrenal gland over here located at the anterior part of the kidney secrete catecholamines which stimulate glycogen breakdown yes one of the catecholamine is adrenaline which is secreted from this adrenal gland so this gives the correct identification and the function so our answer is 4. Now this brings us to the end of the discussion on the solution of the biology section from NEET 2013 code X. Thank you students.